Please refer to the video description for any content warnings. It never bothered me that my family ate roadkill. That was until my little sister's ball rolled into the middle of the road. My mom says there's a demon locked away in the cabinet that'll rip our family apart. But when she unlocked it, it was only a pill bottle. I pulled on the still moving arm under the rubble, happy that at least one of the scientists survived the explosion. As I pulled out almost three meters of arm with the occasional elbow, I knew I found the only thing that was not meant to survive. Leaving the dying world infested with zombies behind, I managed to teleport to a time before it all happened. Happy to be in a zombie-free world, I felt a pang of pain in my right leg. I saw that the scratch I had gotten from a zombie was now red and infected. I just found my notebook containing my college essay on governments brainwashing people and making them forget things. The strangest part is, I never went to college. Counting sheep is a good way to fall asleep. Counting the number of floorboard creaks is a great way to stay awake. I approached a man in the graveyard and told him that I was too scared to walk alone. As he escorted me back to my grave, he said, don't worry, you'll get used to it. When angels commit an unforgivable sin, they are banished from eternal paradise and reborn into a life of misery and suffering. And we wonder why babies are born screaming. <laughs>